guys, Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. So yesterday I showed you how to actually tile a backsplash. We did this row right here. So the second video is going to be how to grout the, the tile joints. So I have this board up here just to keep the tile in place while the mortar is set up. So now it's the next day. We'll remove this board, remove these spacers, and I'll show you how to grout. And these were eighth inch spacers that we used. So you just pull them out and you can reuse them if you want. And then we could clean up the grout lines. Get all the loose mortar out. So the tools you're going to want to use when you're doing this, you can get pre-mixed grout, which is what I have right here, because it's just a small little area. But if you're doing large areas, I suggest getting the grout that you actually mix in a bag. This is a sanded grout that we're going to be using. But the grout that you get, it's a powder that you mix in a bag, is actually cheaper and it covers a larger area. The stuff is pretty expensive for how much you get. And then you're also going to want a bucket full of water and a sponge, and then this is just a standard grout float. So all we're gonna do is take some of our grout, put it on our grout float, and then work it right into the joint. Now you don't wanna go straight down or straight across, you wanna go at an angle so you're not pulling the grout out of the joint as you're going. And then what the sponge and water are going to do is, once we get this done, we're going to take our sponge, wring out 90% of the water or 99% of the water just so it's a damp sponge. And we're going to go over this and clean it up. And that reduces your cleanup once it's dry. And you could see you could wipe some of it off and reuse it. And later on, if it dries and you notice any cracks, you could just take some of this, some of this grout and just dab it on your finger and fill it in the next day or whenever you notice. Because you will notice some little areas that could use a little bit more. So now we have all of our grout joints filled in and we could just kind of rough clean it up at an angle so we're not pulling any grout out of the joint. And then just check it, make sure there's no gaps. And then all we're gonna do is just take our sponge and wring it out just so that it's just damp. If it holds too much water, then you're gonna be taking all the grout out of your joints. And then you just do one pass and then clean off your sponge. So we'll do one pass, flip the sponge over, do another pass, clean the sponge. And just work it at an angle so that you're not pulling any of that grout out. You might need a couple buckets of clean water so that once one gets dirty you can just switch over to the clean one. But I'm just doing this small little area. <clears throat> so one bucket will be fine. So now that we have it cleaned up, we can actually take a rag or a paper towel and just clean and dry the individual joints. And this just saves, saves time for once it dries.
Now this pre-mixed grout comes already at the correct consistency, but if you're mixing it, you want it almost at a peanut butter consistency. And that'll give you the best, the best coverage and the best results. Yeah guys, we'll let that dry and then we'll touch them up more. But yeah, that's how you grout tile. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.